Okay, we're going to look at the Liquify persona in Photo. So Liquify allows us to perform all kinds of mesh-based distortions and warps. So with our background image layer selected, we can enter the Liquify persona, which is up here. And you'll see we've got some dedicated Liquify tools here and panel options. So to begin with, if we don't want the mesh overlaid on the image, we can just uncheck it. Or alternatively, we can change its color and its opacity, the strength at which it's displayed over the image. So for now, I'm just going to uncheck Show Mesh. Now then, in order to get the most out of the Liquify tools, you'll want to experiment with the brush settings. So to begin with, for example, I might use a smaller brush size. And the tool we have selected by default is the Push Forward tool. So all we need to do is just click, drag, and we can start moving pixels around, as you can see here. In this case, I might actually decrease the brush size and just pull the finger out a bit here. So that's how we start to basically use the tools. Let's look at some of the tools. So we have a twirl tool here, which, as expected, twirls pixels. And we can use the Alt or Option modifier to twirl anti-clockwise, like so. Then probably the tool that arguably would see the most use is the pinch tool. So let's zoom in on the eye here. Now the settings for this pinch tool in particular are quite conservative to begin with. So I'm going to increase the opacity and speed. Then we can just click over areas of the image to pinch them. Alternatively, we can use Alt or Option as a modifier to punch pixels instead. But as you can imagine, this will probably be the go-to tool for making people look really googly-eyed. And there may possibly be some other uses for it as well. Now then, we also have the Freeze and Thaw tools, which are at the bottom here. So here's Freeze and Thaw. So the names are fairly suggestive of what they're going to do, but let's select the Freeze tool. And, for example, we can just paint an overlay around this area here. And I think I've actually gone into the bit I wanted to manipulate slightly. So we can select the Thaw tool and just Thaw this particular region. So then, what the Freeze tool does is freezes or constrains certain pixels from being manipulated by the Liquify tools. So let's look at this. I'll go in and select the Twirl tool, and then I'll begin applying it. And you can see it's left the pixels alone that are covered by the red overlay, i.e. they're frozen. So this is really useful for selectively liquefying certain pixels and ignoring surrounding areas. Then of course, once we're finished, we can use the Thaw tool and just click drag over the frozen area to unfreeze it. Okay, so once we've made our various alterations to the image, we can simply then commit the liquify operation by clicking apply up here. And the entire liquify procedure will then be stored 
as a step in our history. So you can always go back at any point to do a before and after comparison. So there's a quick primer on how to use the Liquify Persona. If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask on the Affinity forums, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.